Right, I'm going to do a quick kind of demo about um, the push-pull technique or the open-close technique. Uh, I've had a few people ask me about it just over the last few years, really, since I've known it. I learned it from, well, I learned it actually before this, but uh, the Jojo Mayer DVD, Secret Weapons for the Modern Drummer. I recommend it. It's great for hand technique. Um, and for foot technique, check out Thomas Lang. Either of his DVDs are great. I've got both of them. Um, with, with the kind of learning matrix that he has, is great. Anyway, hand technique, uh, it works in either traditional grip or match grip. My right hand's better than my left hand, is it? For most right people it is. Um, I know the fundamentals, it's just trying to get my right, my left hand uh, doing it. Anyway, basically, it's uh, kind of streamlining one motion into two motions. If you think normally when you're playing singles with one hand, you might just go like this. I'm just playing it in French grip at the moment, but uh, I'll change later on. So you're playing like this. If you want to play faster, you accent each other one, so you get this kind of up down motion going down stroke up stroke down stroke up stroke down stroke up stroke and what we're trying to do is put that up stroke in with the down stroke so what we do is we push down we hit we do a down stroke and let the stick rebound up like this and then we get a down stroke while we're still we get an up stroke sorry while we're still down and we bring it up so rather than coming back up for the up, up stroke like this we push it down and just let it come back up again. So it's all in, in a, natu a natural kind of rebound. I mean, Dave Weckl explains it well in his Back to Basics DVD where you keep a space here in your hand and you let the stick bounce up into it. I think it's called... Uh, oh, I can't remember what the technique it is. If you look at George O'Meara's DVD, he'll, he'll explain it quite well. And there we go. So you let it come up and you push back down again. It works in either French grip or German grip. German grip being, obviously, palms down, 45 degrees in the middle. Well, 90 degrees, I guess, in the middle. Um, French grip, obviously, being parallel with your thumbs upwards. Uh, George O'Meara used to use it in the French grip, he says a lot. I was uh, went to a clinic where he was there and he was speaking about this on his ride symbol, especially so. You're doing that in French grip on his ride symbol, but he found he didn't get a lot of volume from it. So he kind of made the uh, the Mayer Mola technique, which I'm, I really can't do, but uh, where you basically use the Mola technique to hit once and then just get one bounce. And it's a little bit, it's a lot more power. I can't get it that quick. I mean, he can, but I mean, he's George O'Meara, so. Anyway, in German grip, it looks a little bit like this. So you're pushing down and pulling back up again. It's all in the wrist. Imagine, it, Jojo Mayer says in his DVD, imagine you're throwing a ball downwards and then you're pulling it back up and then you're catching it like this again. Just throwing a ball with your wrist. Um, so, and you get it quite quick. And it works with normal drumsticks too. I mean, uh, they're just practice sticks those. But my left hand's really not very good at it. But uh, Traditional grip, it works more or less the same way. You play it open and let it, let it bounce up and then you pull it back down again. Again, my left hand's not amazing. Uh, check out Jojo Mayer. I mean, he's, he's amazing at doing it. And just, you can do groups of three, groups of four, groups of five, and, and so on and so forth. And uh, it works well with the molar technique. Um, Again, my right hand's better than my left. I really need to do some practicing on these techniques with my left hand, as most people, I guess, do. But um, say I'm just doing the finger technique with my left hand. I'm pulling out some singles with the with the push and pull with my right hand. Uh, it's not perfectly even, but it's there. And uh, double strokes work out, work a charm. I can do doubles with the push pull with my left. So instead of bouncing or just forcing them out, you can do the push pull and traditional grip and uh, triple strokes come out nicely as well and so on and so forth just remember it's all about loosening your wrist and then pulling it back up again and just letting the stick rebound naturally all the energy should go back into the stick again if you check out George Mayer, he'll tell you that uh, you need a loose loose grip not too loose otherwise you'll get that uh, but a loose enough grip so that when you do actually hit it, it bounces back up and you don't feel the energy coming back into your hand and you can hear the stick vibrating freely. I have recently ordered some uh, Power Wrist Builder brass sticks. Uh, Jojo on his DVD, he, tell, he says that he uses them because you can you can hear the note that comes out of it a lot easier than wood sticks and you know that you're holding it right if you can hear the note coming out. So, And obviously try and get the bounce as high as you can. But when you're playing quicker you'll have to make it lower obviously. And that's it, push-pull technique. I hope that helped a little bit. Uh, like I said, it works with any sticks. It's not just thin sticks or fat sticks. 
and uh, check out the rest of my channel for some cool covers and symbol reviews and gear reviews and stuff. Anyway, see you later on.